Oh, okay. Are you a wolf or a billy goat, Ginger? <laughs> I think she actually handled sliding down that cliff pretty well, especially because considering I remembered about mid-slide. Oh yeah, Iron Wolf. That means that if we take a tumble, this may be the end of the Iron Wilds pack before it actually even gets going. Because I don't think Ginger really considers herself much of a pack anything at the moment. Just a friendly neighborhood dispersal of meandering through other wolf territories and on the hunt for a potential mate. And we definitely got baited by some of the creek females who were actually going ahead and calling out for mates when um they actually you know were, were not the the right gender so they wanted to rip our throats out that was a little less pleasant but you know now we're back on the move ginger kind of takes these things in stride i'm noticing i don't think she likes the cliffs as much as we thought she would because eh, there's a lot of rocks here she kind of prefers if she's going to be anywhere maybe the open grasslands I don't know if she's much of a forest wolf, but again, was that a fox? What was that? Excuse me? A wolverine! <laughs> okay, that's new. <laughs> we have not seen the wolverines! No way! Maybe we'll- look at that guy go! Now those are actually very powerful predators. We probably do not want to mess with the wolverine. Uh, especially because we don't really need to. We're kind of tired. So we also don't want to try to go ahead and chase these beautiful pronghorn. One of the closest living relatives to the giraffe other than Okapi. And the only ones who happen to be native to North America. I love pronghorn. I've only seen a small group of them once very far away when we were in Yellowstone. And I, the, otherwise, is that Wolverine hunting the pronghorn? What? Do they do that? Hold up, that is... Okay, Ginger just saw something. She's learning. She's kind of like, whoa, didn't expect that. I, I just get the feeling she's very chill. Um, But maybe we'll get her into a nice cozy spot for some sleep because she's pretty tired. Doesn't really feel like going ahead and fighting with that um, very angry skunk thing. And when we tuck her down to like take a rest, I might have to go ahead and see. Like, hold up. Do wolverines hunt pronghorn? Are they where? Okay, who's that? I'm trying to go to sleep. If we get pounced by other wolves right now, I think Ginger would be a little bit nervous. So maybe we'll go under this tree instead of on the rock, like I was thinking. Because um, we're kind of exhausted and I don't think that would end very well for us. Where are we? We aren't even to the cliff yet. <gasps> I thought we made it all. We have barely walked like any of this new area. This is amazing. I really think that maybe, oh, maybe a little Cottonwood Creek might be where we want to head over. Uh, bearing in mind, we do want to try to keep some of the higher altitude places kind of under our domain because that's where a lot of the animals go during the summer to like take their children and raise them. But we have to check something really quickly. Do wolverines hunt pronghorn? Pronghorn. Let's see. Uh, let's find out. They don't hunt in packs. They will hunt moose. Are you? Is that what? Uh, uh. No, really? I. I'm more of a scavenger than a hunter, but footage shows Wolverine sighting. No, that is that just that just that just might be wild rumors. Ginger, you go ahead and like have a little rest for just a minute. I, I are you sure? Like, do they really? Do they? Okay, hunts predators. Hmm. I don't know, let's see. Can become good hunters. I don't think I see anything about that, uh, but I do actually see a video about the pronghorn jumping around from the official wolf quest video. So there's dispersal wolves ahead. Yay. Would very much like to meet a mate. I think, I feel like like word on the streets, the streets being apparently, um, you know, the, the the forest, I think the 
the Wolverines want us to believe that, yeah, they're tough enough to go ahead and hunt us, uh, or, or the pronghorn, or a moose, but I, I don't know if, I gotta look up some factual data about that, because it was just a bunch of people in forums being like, yeah, 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 of course, and I'm like, I don't know about that, you guys, but then again, I've never seen a Wolverine in person. I have seen a fossa, though. You think you'd see a Wolverine before a fossa, but maybe people don't think about Wolverines or fossas. This brought to you by Siri's brain being stunned, and also the arrival of the painted rock dispersal males. I love that because painted uh, rocks and like painted cliffs, like those of really beautiful national park that Chips and I have been to uh, in the Yoop, the upper part of Michigan, and it 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 was really stunning. It was on one of the Great Lakes, and Painted Rocks, I think, is one of the locations you used to be able to go see. I think it may have fallen over from the erosion, but we have a two, three, and four-year-old male. Considering the fact we're planning, at least at this stage, of sticking with Ginger as long as we can, even if we carry on multiple years and generations, Maybe we aren't going to pair with the oldest male, but having a male who's a little bit older means that they might be a bit stronger and more experienced. So, 1008, what do you got? Not a very good pick, actually. Not a very good genetic diversity. Uh, the two-year-old is really interested in us. And actually, I take it back, the four-year-old actually seems to be a pretty good pick. I wonder, if we lose our mate from one year, then if we have our pups survive, can we actually have a new mate? Not like I'm already planning on replacing you, mysterious painted rocks wolf who seems to have very, like, nice fur. Let's see. By nice fur, I mean, like, the black fur seems to provide some genetic diversity. Meanwhile, the younger ones... I want to make sure we have healthy pups. And I feel like this guy, he seemed to be one of the ones to approach us first. And I kind of like the idea. Okay, slow down. Let him respond. Okay, okay. No need no need to, to rush things. He also wants to check us out. He, he might... Uh, actually, as a four-year-old, he has a very high chance of having possibly, like, lost a mate himself. What happens if we howl? Okay, the four-year-old got very excited about that. And he seemed to push himself in front of the other one. Or oh, never mind. Wait, are you guys... Hello? No, we, maybe we shouldn't have held because we seem to have gone ahead. Don't tell me those are the creek females coming. Give me a chance. Oh, yay. Okay, so courtship. So, so I think that we actually... Oh, look at them. Okay, like, I think 1218 seems to have a crush on us right off the bat. And then 800 over there, or 10, 10, ugh, why do they have to be numbers? I've, I've got dyscalculia. I mix numbers up all the time. It's very difficult. Imagine if every time you looked at numbers, like, they just did that matrix thing where they, like, constantly are skittering about. That's what I kind of have to cope with. But do we have a potential new mate? You know, this is this is just the, the introductory day. We might be able to go ahead. Uh, what if we roll over? Like, hi. What's up? Oh, he's he's kind of playful. And it looks like 1008 has kind of like backed off. And 1218 actually seems super shy. So I sort of feel like maybe Ginger wouldn't even notice that. And there's just something about this like older confident wolf that makes him the center of attention. And I don't think she's really looking for like a super confident mate. But I just think she naturally was like, oh, hey, like her eyes were just drawn to the main wolf. And she's like, going there first. If it works out, it works out. Okay, 1008 definitely seems like he's like, ah, oh, I give up. And he's, he's just wandering away. 1218, I think, had a secret crush, but wasn't bold enough to go ahead and tell us about it. And, oh, wait, did he come on down? I mean, I think... Like, 807 feels like... Okay, she locked onto his attention again. Oh, the other wolf is trying... Oh, he's... Like, I think 807 was, like, trying to decide. Like, for very serious reasons. Like, will this potentially be my mate? He, like, walked away for a minute. Oh my gosh, look at the other two. <laughs> oh, 
this is gonna be heck in a handbasket to go ahead and try to like lighten up to be able to like show you guys but we got a nice little picture of all of them okay he's doing a nice tail wag the other two are kind of walking away he seems pretty playful oh wait oh i feel like 1008 the younger male oh there we go might just be the kind who kind of wants to maybe have what other wolves have so he was more trying to court us because it, like the older brother of his or whatever um maybe cousin from the same pack uh ended up being the one who was like finding a mate and i feel like 1008 kind of was a little bit jealous uh, or not jealous like there's a very good survival mechanic to be had if you are going to go ahead and you're going to be the one to say like, hey, they've got something good. I want to try to get some of that. So I am tickled. I'm tickled and I am remembering I didn't pick any kinds of names, but let's go ahead and try this out. Yeah, Ginger seems cool with it. She's like, okay, maybe we'll we'll like hang out. The other two are sort of headed off. Um, I really like their little sniff of noses. Maybe we'll take a little meander, like, around the place, now that we're here, because we still need to figure out if he's really who we want, and maybe we'll start heading towards the little Cottonwood Creek, like, over the mountain, instead of going towards the basalt cliffs. Might be a bit of a hike up. Is that... That's a bull moose? We're not going to try to do anything impressive, like rush at it. No need for that kind of nonsense. Yeah, I just get the feeling that Ginger's kind of chill, and this this wolf seems to appreciate somebody who is kind of confident. I wouldn't say Ginger's overconfident, but thus far in her life, she hasn't had a huge reason to be, like, super unconfident either. She hasn't had her, her tail handed back to her just yet by an angry wolverine, apparently. So maybe we'll give this a little a little try. And maybe, like, she's tired. We found a very uncomfortable pile of rocks to sleep on. And it, she's pretty practical. She's tired, she sleeps. If he's still around in the morning, I mean, they're not mates mates yet. They're just kind of like saying hi. If he's not, then she'll go find somebody else. She's just super practical like that. I like it. Ooh, now she's got a lot of energy. Hey, good morning. <laughs> You know what? He's actually kind of colored like iron, isn't he? <gasps> that might be perfect! That might actually be what we needed all along, and I didn't know it! Oh my gosh. Their kids- one of their kids could be named Rust, because that would be really fun. How appropriate would it be for him to be, like, named Iron as well? Alright, we're gonna go up and over the cliff? Up and over the hill even? Aww. I think he's kind of like saying good morning. Not bad. Maybe? Or maybe he's like, he, he seems more energetic. All right, where are we going? He actually seems more energetic and in interacting than Ginger does, but that's kind of adorable. Aw, all right. Maybe we'll give it a little howl, a little play bow. And then maybe we'll give it a little wiggling away from whoever just held back that wasn't in our group. And... Oh! Ooh! There's actually a snowshoe here nearby. Alright, that's a good excuse to explain why we'd go up. And... Got it. Alright, Ginger's kind of practical, but, you know, she's not super duper hungry, so I could see her offering this. Just to be like, hey. Hey, you want it? There you go. Do we know his well-being yet? Strength one, minus two speed, but he's very healthy. So his stamina is also a little lower, but that's because he's slower, but he's a little bit bigger. Like he, he ha kind of has that defensive. Oh, what's this? Another bunny! Oh my gosh, is that two bunnies? No, that's coyotes. Hey, they're chasing a bunny. Our bunny now. See, that's a lucky sign if you ask me. What's not a lucky sign is whoever's howling over there. Eh, but you know, no need to no need to go and poke an angry, apparently, wolverine. So, up we go. 
so I can't really smell. Maybe... Was that another hair? Oh my gosh! Or is that coyote? It's a coyote! Okay. Poof! There we go! Well, that was a little bit of a fun run. I kind of love the idea that... Tentative name Iron. Iron's kind of a weird name. I oh, he got a... <gasps> I've never seen... I've never seen that before. I've never seen the mates actually go ahead and hunt their own lucky rabbit's feet. That is extremely refreshing. I think we like ourselves a self-sufficient potential mate who doesn't need us to like give up all of all of the yummiest good stuff just to stay alive. I I I really appreciate that. All right. Nice. We'll have to see if their affinity continues to go up, especially if they're able to find a place that seems like it's semi-decent for raising a litter of wolf pups. And, um, I don't know about you guys, but I have no idea where a good spot to go ahead and raise some wolf pups might be. I have not yet smelled even a single bit- Ooh! Okay. Hey! Well, I guess somebody's kind of happy. Yeah, he's just really chill. I like that about him. Chill. Iron. We're starting to get towards some ideas of what we might call him. A snowshoe hare was here. I guess we're a little hungry. I mean, practicality again. Might as well chase the food. Whoa! Okay. Okay, that was not my plan. Hello? Goodbye? Is that a, is that a bunny? Where am I? That's a fox? Boy, that just kind of had everything explode in our face at once. What's this? Somehow, out of that chaos, we ended up being able to get a lucky rabbit foot. Not bad. Not bad. Kind of wish I could have gone ahead and bitten one of those pronghorn that we surprised, but they surprised us too. Like, look at that. Look at how fast they are! <laughs> I think that that wouldn't even register on Ginger's, like, on Ginger's anything as something to even bother to try to hunt. Just something that she's like, yeah, that's... That's not food, like, because food doesn't move like that. Uh, that's just something you kind of watch, and occasionally if you run at it, they do something interesting. Like, make gigantic circles and possibly a landslide on the side of the mountain. That's amazing. Also, what? It's cold! Ah, Maybe there is something to be said for being able to find a place around trees then. And also some mule deer. But maybe we'll do a little poking around and see if we can stumble upon somewhere that might be good for some elk herds. Since that is going to be very important to the entire group. Uh, you know, for the whole survival thing. But practical steps first. Let's see if we like this guy or not. And I think they're getting along pretty well. But, you know, like, she's a practical girl. Until, until it's a done deal. I think she just like keep things casual. Nice understanding between the two of them. You find yourself a four star mate rather than I I do. We know what to do. Or we know how to hunt together. Never mind. I take it back. Apparently Apparently he might even be a semi competent if we can work together. Oh boy. But that's a big if. I'm not very good at chasing the mule deer. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that's on me. That's on me. I take it back. Now I feel like we need to go ahead and we need to pr try to prove ourselves to him. Sorry about that. Really sorry about that. Didn't mean to. Ah! Okay. Didn't mean to do that either, but here we are. All right. All right. Fine. I have gone ahead. I have accidentally done who knows what. And, um, there we go. We'll have to try this out and see how things work. So, there. Fixed it. <laughs> Thank goodness. So, yes, um, I take it back. Time to prove ourselves to him. Also, what is this? <gasps> the first mystery item! Are we that curious? Or are we kind of practical? We're gonna find out next time. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye bye